person, because I've got a theory. I don't usually, when I did sports, I wouldn't watch the Super Bowl in person. I would go to the Super Bowl for Super Bowl week, we would do the radio show from there, and then I would hop a flight on Sunday, usually, fly back home, and sit and watch the Super Bowl on my couch, because that's how the vast majority of sports fans experience it. Same thing I think is going to be true of the debate. There are going to be around 10,000 people, potentially, inside of this arena. This is where the Milwaukee Bucks play in Milwaukee. That means in terms of uh, what it will feel like for television viewers, there's going to be a lot of noise. There will be a lot of reaction. There may be catcalling. Uh, and I would suspect that you are going to see, here's my prediction of what the debate is going to feel like. I think people are going to come after Ron DeSantis with everything they've got. Because I think everybody, instead of attacking Trump, is going to be trying to put themselves in that second line where they are the default alternative. And so I think DeSantis is going to get assailed on all sides. How will he handle those attacks? And we've had Ron DeSantis on this show quite a lot. How normal is he going to say? You win oftentimes in debates by seeming normal, in an abnormal circumstance. And that's why I think Vivek Ramaswamy's perspective is interesting. You may have seen him putting up videos playing tennis. He just put up video last night of he and his wife doing burpees and working out together. He's sending the message of, I'm relaxed, I know what I'm going to say, I am 